Well, next I'm going to do carrots and um, I'm going to show you actually even how to, to peel a carrot because um, this is an easier way than you might be accustomed to. Remember the pinch grip on the knife. I'm cutting my ends off and I'm going to save those for stock for later. Once I have cut my, my ends off, I'm going to hold my carrot to peel it versus going like this and I'm gonna use my peeler and just do a single long strip. And you're getting the whole carrot peeled in one movement versus doing a lot of little movements. So it may seem like I'm going slow, but it is actually much more efficient. And look at that, one beautiful carrot peeled. I save these peelings for my stock, which will be for chicken soup later. So to start with your carrot, um, you see it has a big end and a small end. So on the small end, we're going to do the same thing as we did with the celery. We're going to have it um, flat and I'm going to use my pinch grip, my claw grip, and then I'm going to use the low cutting method. Remember that means keeping your tip down using the back end here and we're just going to do round slices. Like but after a little while, my carrot is going to get thicker and it's going to be harder for me. So you have to look so far. So now what I'm gonna do is what they call the high technique. And that is where my blade is actually off the cutting board completely. And then I come down and I slice like that. And you notice I'm not just pushing straight down. I'm still sliding it forward like that. This is slicing. And we'll get that all the way up. If this is too big, you want smaller, you know, you can cut your carrot in half and then do the sliding low cut method. Oh, a crazy one, rolled right off. If you need it diced, similar to the celery, you can cut it into pieces long ways and then come across and do that low technique. And then you have diced carrot. Another method for cutting is called the bias cut. And the bias cut simply means that you're doing the low or high cutting method, but you're changing your angle. So this method is often used in um, Asian cooking because it makes a wider surface, which means that you have, it's gonna cook quicker because more of the surface gets to the heat. So it cooks in like a minute. If you've ever done stir fry and you cut your carrots like this, it takes a long time for them to get soft. So bias method is when you change your angle, either your food, your body, or your knife, whichever is comfortable. You use the same low method, but you're gonna go at an angle. And it makes kind of a long oval shape. Can you see it? If you wanted to get fancy, you could do what they call a paisan cut. Or you could do cuts like that. That's called irregular, that's good for roasting. But a uh, paisan is you actually trim the sides of your carrot and you square it off a little bit. You can save that for stock. You can cut them straight across, like right, notice I'm using that high technique. You have square, or we could take it to an angle. It's kind of fun to do for kids. Um, they like the different different shapes. They have circle squares, rectangles. Um, it just makes it more interesting. And hopefully if food is more interesting and more fun, they are more likely to eat it. Next, we're gonna do onions. So hang tight, it's the best thing.